guys, so um, I'm going to make a quick video over the odd uh, solutions from 5.5 day one homework. So let's start with number one. Number one says um, to solve negative secant of theta equals negative three minus four secant of theta. So we have the same function secant on both sides, um, so it'd be nice to get them on the same side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the 4 secant theta over here. So plus 4 secant theta. And that gives me 3 secant theta, because negative 1 plus 4 is 3, equals negative 3. Or secant of theta equals negative 1 if you divide by the 3. So um, if you're uncomfortable with, with dealing with um, secant, you can think of it as cosine. Well, if secant is negative 1 over 1, then cosine is 1 over negative 1, but that is just negative 1. So the question, and it says find the answers from 0 to 2 pi, with 0 included, and 2 pi naught. Cosine is negative 1 only at theta equals um, pi. Let me get a circle. Okay. Let's go to number 3. So number 3 says find all solution, uh, all solutions to each equation in radians. So all solutions, and we need to be in radians. Okay, we're supposed to find the solutions to negative 8 cosine of theta equals 4 square roots of 2. We want to get cosine of theta by itself, so we're going to divide by negative 8. I'm going to float the negative to the numerator, and then I'm going to simplify the 4 and the 8 to 1 half. So I'm really looking for when is cosine negative square root of 2 over 2? So, just as a reminder, cosine was negative one in that lot, and number one right here at pi, and it wasn't. It's not negative one any other, anywhere else on the unit circle between zero and two pi. Cosine negative square root of two over two. So cosine is the x value, and the x value is only negative in the left side. So over here, cosine is negative square root of two over two at three pi over four, and at five pi over four. So that's theta equals three pi over four and 5 pi over 4. Now, just a reminder, right by the unit circle. Uh, 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 are not the same distance apart. Now, if it was 3 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4, then I could say it's every pi away from this one. So plus pi there, plus pi there. But as it is, it's this one and this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, plus 2 pi in, plus 2 pi in. So every uh, every rotation after that as well, where n is an element of the integers. Okay. Alright, now let's go to number five. Number five says, uh, solve each equation from 0 to 2 pi, or for, for, an for angles between 0 and 2 pi. Um, such that cosecant squared plus 2 equals negative 2 cosecant plus 1. So um, I do have a, a cosecant on this side and a cosecant on that side, but one of them's quadratic and one of them's linear, which means it's probably going to be a quadratic problem. So I'm going to add the 2 cosecant, and I'm going to subtract the 1 over until I have everything on the same side, and I'm going to treat it like a quadratic. So if I can factor this, then I can solve that. The factors of 1 that add up to 2 are 1 and 1, so x plus 1 and x plus 1, or x plus 1 quantity squared. So that's cosecant of x plus 1, quantity squared equals 0. Well, if I'm trying to solve for x, then I'm going to take the square root. When you take the square root of both sides, you just get cosecant plus 1 equals 0. And now I didn't have to do the whole square thing. I could have just said this times this and set them each equal to 0, but they're the same thing, so you might as well just solve one of them, which is what we're doing. Cosecant, I'm going to subtract the 1 over. And similar to number 1, cosecant equals negative 1 when sine equals 1 over negative 1, which is still negative 1. And sine is negative 1. 3 pi over 2. So that's when x equals 3 pi over 2. Somehow I transitioned to x's. I guess
sucks because of that. Oh well. I guess it probably should say theta. Oh well. Okay. Number seven. Number seven is two equals tan squared plus one. And we're trying to solve for tangent. Actually, we're trying to solve for theta, but if we can get tangent by itself, then we can solve for theta more easily. So I'm going to subtract the one over, and that leaves me with a one. Now this is very important because it's tangent squared equals one, not just tangent equals one. So that means when I take the square root to um, get rid of the square, you, you get two answers. Don't forget when you take a square root, you get plus and minus. So we get plus and minus the square root of one, which is one. Which means we're talking about all the answers from when tangent is positive and negative one. So remember, tangent is sine over cosine. Zero divided by one is zero. One divided by the square root of three. Square root of two divided by square root of two is one. So we're looking at these types of answers. Pi over four, it's one. Three pi over four, it's negative one because it's positive square root of two divided by negative square root of two. Five pi over four, it's positive one. And seven pi over four, it's negative one again. So we're looking at all the uh, quarter pies. All the odd ones anyway. Pi over four, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. And there's my answer. Turn the lamp off now that I'm off that color. Although, you can still see it pretty good as long as I cover the light. Okay. Let's go to number 9. Number 9 says negative 4 sine squared theta plus 4 sine squared 2 theta equals 3 sine squared 2 theta. Okay, so I've got sine squared of theta and sine squared of 2 theta. I wanna, what I want to do is I want to subtract the sine squared 2 theta over so I have the same amount, or so I have them on the same side. So uh, 4 sine squared 2 theta minus 3 sine squared 2 theta is 1 sine squared 2 theta. And they are not the same thing. So I'm going to replace sine of 2 theta with um, 2 sine cosine. So remember, this is the same thing as sine of 2 theta quantity squared. That square can move out to the back. That's just notation for us knowing that it's sine squared, not the 2 theta being squared. Okay, so that's 2 sine theta cosine theta quantity squared, which is 4 sine squared cosine squared. So if I have negative 4 sine squared theta plus 4 sine squared, co fine, 4 sine squared theta cosine squared theta equals 0, then I can see that I have a common factor of sine squared. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and factor out a negative 4 sine squared. And what I'm left with is a 1 minus, because I factored out a negative. That's all gone, and I'm just left with cosine squared equals 0. So as far as this goes, you know, zero product property, you said it makes equal to zero, right? Negative four sine squared theta equals zero when sine equals zero. You can take this, you can divide by negative four, you can take the square root, it doesn't really matter, you're still gonna get when sine equals zero. Sine is the y value, and the y value is zero on the x-axis, so we're looking at zero and pi. So theta equals zero and pi. For this part, I'm going to set 1 minus cosine squared equal to 0. I'm going to add the cosine squared over, and I'm going to take the square root. And when you take a square root, there's two answers. So when cosine theta equals both positive and negative 1. So cosine is the x value, and it equals 1 here, and negative 1 there, which is already the answers that we have, so we're done. It's just those two. cosecant squared theta minus 4. So I'm trying to solve for cosecant squared. I'm going to add the 4, and that gives me negative 4. Then I'm going to divide by negative 3. Cosecant squared, that becomes a positive. So add the 4, divide by negative 3, 
and then I'm going to take the square root. So if cosecant squared equals 4 thirds, then that means cosecant equals plus and minus, and I'm going to, um, I'm just going to leave it as this, well, I'm not going to leave it, but I'll talk to you. Ugh, Jennifer. I'll simplify that. So the square root of 4 is 2, so plus and minus 2 over the square root of 3. I'm not going to rationalize that because what I want to do is I want to think of it like this. Cosecant equals um, 2 over the square root of 3 when it's reciprocal. Sine equals the square root of 3 over 2. So we're just looking when does sine equal square root of 3 over 2, both positive and negative. Sine's a y value. So that's at pi over 3. 2 pi over 3, those are the two positives. 4 pi over 3, negative square root of 3 over 2, and 5 pi over 3. So at theta equals um, 1 third, 2 thirds, 4 thirds, and 5 thirds pi. <coughs> So number 13. So number 13 says cosine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta minus 3 sine squared theta. Okay. So cosine 2 theta has three different options. Cosine 2 theta. This one, this one, and this one. Um, keeping in mind that my problem so far only has like on the the other side I only have sines, it would be to my advantage to replace it using the middle one, 1 minus 2 sine squared, so that's what I'm going to do. 1 minus 2 sine squared theta equals 2 sine theta minus 3 sine squared theta. Then what I want to do is I want to get them all on the same side, and I'd like my quadratic to be positive. I've got a negative 2 quadratic term and I've got a negative 3 quadratic term, which means if I add this one over, so if I add 3 sine squared, and then if I subtract 2 sine, then I'm left with, I'm going to write this first, a negative 2 plus 3 is 1, so sine squared minus 2 sine, and then plus that 1 over there from the front. And then it's a quadratic. So it's again, it's like I'm factoring this one, only this time the middle term is negative, which is the same thing as x minus 1 times x minus 1. So sine theta minus 1 times sine theta oop, minus 1. Take a minute. Um, either way, I'm trying to solve for when sine theta minus 1 equals 0 or when sine of theta equals 1. And sine equals 1 when theta equals pi over 2. And there we go. Okay, I've got one more, number 15. When, okay. Fifteen says tan squared equals negative one plus two tan theta. So if I try and solve that, what I want to do is get everything on the same side. Tan squared, because I've got a quadratic linear and a constant. Minus two tan theta plus one equals zero. So subtract that, add that. And again, we've got a quadratic. X squared minus two x plus one. As you can tell, they really like that one. Because you're kind of limited on what you can solve using the unit circle half, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Ones and zeros are all we've got. So, that's tangent minus 1 times tangent theta minus 1. Or, we're just solving when tangent theta minus 1 equals 0, which is the same thing as when tangent equals 1. So, here we're just looking when tangent equals positive 1. Tangent equals positive 1 at pi over 4. It equals negative 1 at 3 pi over 4, because one of them is negative, and it equals positive 4 again at 5 pi over 4, and negative 1 at 7 pi over 4. So we're looking at pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4.